I figured pull off as little as possible to start out with. An artistic dispute over the provenance of a Jackson Pollock painting has pit traditional ways of determining whether a work is genuine against newer technologies. He said he wasn't wearing socks, right? <coughs> yeah, which is a good thing. Nick Petracco, a retired New York City detective and forensic specialist, believes that if fiber technology and hair analysis are good enough for criminal investigations, they ought to be good enough to decide who created a painting. Mr. Petracco worked with the estate of Ruth Kligman, Pollock's then lover, who was with him in 1956 when he died in a car crash. Petracco compared soil, grass, and hair fibers from Pollock's estate to those found in the painting. He points to a polar bear hair plucked from the painting as his strongest piece of evidence. I'd like to remove this hair, maybe a hair up there. That rare hair matched a rug that is still located in the Pollock estate. Experts and the auction houses that rely on them maintain that forensics can point to where and when a painting was made. But only expert evaluation of composition and brush strokes can identify an artist's unique style. The authentication board set up by the Pollock Krasner Foundation, created by Pollock's wife, Lee Krasner, had rejected the painting. The difference of opinion could be worth millions of dollars. A Pollock painting was recently auctioned for $58 million, but without an expert stamp of approval, the painting at the center of the dispute is likely to fetch no more than $50,000.